James from Nectar Fletcher as part of our continuing PDAC 2024 coverage. We sat in at the Ontario Press Conference with Minister Rickford and Minister Pidelli. Well, thank you, uh, Lisa, for that uh, introduction. It's great to be back here at PDAC, uh, my favorite conference uh, of the year, and without question, a chance to reconnect with municipal leaders and industry leaders and most of our Northern Ontario caucus here today. I understand my parliamentary assistant got a, a snarled in a flight delay or cancellation, so he couldn't make it down. But we, uh, we know Kevin Holland is here in spirit. We know there's some exciting things for the city of Thunder Bay on the horizon, broadly speaking, in the mining sector. And of course, Ross, who uh, lives at the legislature, I like to say, in his capacity as, as a whip to kick things off for the week. But I'm joined here by some colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, uh, because we're really excited about what uh, the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund is doing but the Ministry of Northern Development. Let's be perfectly clear. We see us, this ministry more about prosperity than we do development. I mean, we appreciate the opportunity to continue to build our communities and support our industries, new sectors like filming out there in Hollywood Bay or otherwise known as North Bay. I'm not kidding, Vic. I'm being nice to you this morning. Um, and, and whatnot. But, but the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund, as it says in its title, um, compels us to draw on our heritage. And that has meant supporting small communities in particular, municipalities and indigenous communities, and of course being there for our larger uh, cities uh, and towns across the region. And the modern NOHFC is working well with them. But every once in a while, um, we have to take a moment, and PDAC is probably the best place for that, to talk about our support for forestry, to talk about our support for mining, the synergies between those two sectors. We're now having substantive discussions of winter roads being converted into all season roads, at least in, in part. So we have a, a great opportunity to do that. But foresters and mining uh, companies alike know that if we don't have a mining service and supply sector, uh, we're going to have a hard time getting our work done. These are the companies that do the real work when it comes to supporting the machinery and the capacity to build winter roads, to, to look at all season road capacity, to clear a right of way, to service the machinery that mining and forestry and other sectors uh, require. And then over the course of time with friends like we have at NORCAT in driving technology and innovation, the bucket shop in Timmins, uh, George, next thing you know, you go around the world as Vic does and comes to find out that the mining service and sec uh, supply sector is categorically world class in Northern Ontario. It happened that fast. And we'd like to think that one of the reasons it's been able to achieve that is because of the unwavering support of the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund. Targeted investments committed to ensuring that the sectors stay competitive and innovative, current, and unlock major prosperity and economic development opportunities across the North. So today, it seems fitting at PDAC that we make an announcement to the tune of $3.7 million to support 11 Northern mining supply and service sector companies. We appreciate you. This is just exciting all around, folks, and I'm not going to take you through every single project, um, uh, but suffice it to say that they, they're characterized by a couple of important things that the Heritage Fund has targeted. First of all, it's always worth pointing out, first and foremost, that we are just a partner. Importantly, whether it's 15%, which I think is the floor, or 50%, which for today's profile is the ceiling, 
we are providing a significant amount of funding for these companies to leverage. And that's the piece that I think we have to uh, talk about, folks, because the multiplier on our investments in a modern Northern Ontario Heritage Fund has been what's really separated us all from any other program uh, at any other level of government. I want to do a couple of shout outs today. It's always risky to, um, uh, to point out a few and my colleagues are going to talk about some local, but I know that A10 Fabrication is here this morning. Are you, where is A10 Fabrication? They're not here. Oh, all that. Oh, they're upstairs. Okay. Well, we'll get a chance to see them, but I want to do a special shout out to them because they're an Espanola based custom design and manufacturing uh, business service for mining and forestry. Espanola's taken a hit, but there's something we know about the resiliency of Northern Ontario, Northern Ontario towns and cities and First Nations. We can take a hit and we can get right back up and see the opportunity. So congratulations to A10 Fabrication. We're funding 46% of their project to the tune of a little over three quarters of a million uh, dollars. There are other um, uh, companies here. I'll, I'll highlight a couple that are, are not part of what George and, and Vic... Oh, there's none. It's all George and Vic. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, there are a few here, New Lisker-based manufacturer Wabi Iron and Steel Corporation um, is here. Shaft sinking engineered products in uh, Sudbury, um, North Smith's Mining Solutions, getting a little closer to North Bay there in Kirkland Lake. Um, uh, the rest seem to be in the neighborhood. Oh, I see... Uh, NORCAT, Don Duval, boy, it's kind of the Nor NORCAT Ontario Heritage Fund sometimes, isn't it? We're looking forward to their accomplishments uh, being celebrated at the end of May as they endeavor to go worldwide and uh, roll out some of the most exciting contributions to mining ser service and supply and mining activities the world over. So, folks, I want to thank you all for being here today. I know there are some leaders in industry, some leaders in communities. You all understand the importance of what we're trying to achieve here today uh, and in the future. But I want to congratulate all the funding recipients. Uh, I look forward to visiting many of them who are on the floor uh, already. And uh, I encourage you to visit our uh, Ministry of Northern Development booth it's located in the Northern Ontario Mining Showcase. We appreciate our friends uh, at FedNor for uh, accommodating us, and uh, it's going to be a great show. Enjoy your time here in the big smoke, um, and, and thank you for this opportunity. I'm going to turn it over to, I guess, George to highlight a few, um, a, a few uh, uh, recipients here from Timmins. Like what you see? Subscribe, hit the like button, and make sure to get the notifications.